A lot of workarounds as Emmanuel Jr. on the carry. Offense been able to dominate the way that it has. What you're seeing is a byproduct of what we do every single day in practice. Uh, we take what we do in practice into the game and the process of what we do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday for us on game time, which is a Saturday for us right now. And then 75 yards picked up on that play alone for the home team. Yeah, you know, the young freshman just going against the grain, got a seal block, and we saw Buffalo's offense have blocks like that in the first half for their running backs. Great job by Daniel Richardson. Emmanuel stays in the ball game, keeps it, trying to ask for some blocking, and then shoved out of bounds. See if he can do some tough running in between the tackles. First pass ever from Burt Emmanuel. It's complete as K. Oh, they marked him short. Oh, oh, review that. Watch the play clock. They've already started this play clock, so you can't celebrate, but for only so long. But a good job by Manuel stopping, delivering a strike, and he may be taking some of his minutes. Emmanuel successful on his first pass, looks downfield, decides to tuck it and run. That's what you got to do. You know, the backup, you're always one play away. This boy can run. Look at this. Yeah, he's just sweeping <laughs> through the line and then tripped up. Emmanuel so effective now on the ground. Tim carries 125 yards picked up on the ground. And you just see he's at a different level. But Central Michigan has since come out of the locker room and scored 10 unanswered points. Well, look at this. Oh, my. And he was not down. On his feet, ladies and gentlemen, Bert Emmanuel. We talked about a shot. Who says the quarterback quarterbacks aren't that athletic? We told you about his dad. He's got the bloodlines, but but look at this. I mean, he's bottled up, and this is why you love these mobile quarterbacks in today's college football landscape. Was on a player. It's the best part about the run. Finish, young man. Finish, finish, finish. Not going to get it to the one-yard line. Get knocked out of bounds this time around. The good ones have a way of finding pay dirt, and he was not leaving it to chance his second explosive run on the evening. Just not being denied. Bertie Manuel Jr. keeping it himself, and he has just been tough to bring down tonight. More than 200 yards on the ground and at 17 after that. Earlier, Jay, from Bauer, who also has picked up 100 yards on the ground the last two games. Everybody putting a body on a body, a jersey on a jersey. In the second half. Emmanuel, once more, great blocking. Can he get into the end zone again? Just short. Stopped <laughs> at the one yard line, who saved him from getting into the end zone. And just running through arm tackles. Not a lot of space here. But you have to be able to bring the quarterback down. That's a missed tackle. Another missed tackle. We've seen them with the ball before. First and goal from the one yard line and not be able to punch it in. Close, close, the push. And stopped right there at the goal line. The end zone. Oh, they say yes. Touchdown. Yeah. Touchdown. <laughs> And Bert Emanuel just has to hold on to the football. Look at this. <laughs> wow. Wow. You just got to give props and shout out to Bert Emanuel Jr. for the fantastic game that he's had tonight. Most rushing yards by an FBS QB since 2019. Then they just continue to find that fire in their belly, especially in these final two quarters. Take a knee. Go down. Oh, boy. <laughs> Bert Emanuel says, I've had a night to remember. I want more. Horse collar tackle and add some more.